Hello dudes, welcome to techtoot.com. In this video, let us understand how you can assign pointer to some other variable. So as you already know that pointer stores the address of some particular variable. Okay, so to store the value of a pointer variable to some other variable, we will also need another pointer type of variable. So let's write a simple program to explain the concept. This is your main function. Let's say you have an integer variable i which stores the value 20. Okay. Now you are declaring two pointer type of variable. First one is p, second one is q. And let's store the address of variable i inside p. Now if you want to store the same address inside q, you need not write this same similar statement again, you can directly assign the value of p inside q. So this statement is a is an example of pointer assignment. So now if you print the values, the value of i, value p, value q, then the value of i which is 20 will be printed. Then the value of operator of p. So p here if I show you how it is stored in the memory. So there the location of i inside that location 20 has been stored. If address of this location is 1000 inside the variable p. 1000 has been stored. Let's say it ad address is 2000. And we have taken another variable q which has also stored 1000. Let's say its address is 3000. Okay. So for all these three cases, 20 will be printed, right? Because value of this 1000 memory location is 20. Now, Okay, let's say we assign value of q as something else, maybe 50. So what will happen? Value of q will be changed. Value of q means the value inside the memory location which q is storing. So the value of 1000 memory location, it will be changed to 50. So now if I print... i value of p value of q what happened first of all the value of i is 50 it will be printed now p and q both points to the same memory location now in this memory location now 50 value is stored so both of these will give you 50 clear and if you print the value of p or q p will give you 1000 Q will also give you 1000. Address of P, address of Q, address of P will give you 2000. Address of Q will give you 3000. So, I think the concept of pointer assignment is clear to you. If you have any doubt, you can ask in our doubt section. See you in the next, next lecture. Thank you for watching.